coming to the first problem the radius of two circles are 19 cm and 9 cm respectively find the radius of circle which has circumference equal to sum of circumference of two circles now moving on to the solution let us consider the two given radii as r1 is equal to 19 cm and r2 is equal to 9 cm let c be the circumference of required circle let c be the circumference of required circle with radius r that is c will be equal to 2 pi r now let us find the circumference of two circles that is circumference of the circle with radius r1 is 2 pi r1 similarly the circumference of circle with radius r2 will be equal to 2 pi r2 let the circumstances be c1 and c2 but it is given that the circumference of required circle is equal to sum of circumferences of two circles that is c is equal to c1 plus c2 which implies c is 2 pi capital r is equal to 2 pi r1 plus 2 pi r2 that implies let us take 2 pi common into r is equal to 2 pi common r1 plus r2 which implies capital r is equal to r1 plus r2 that is equal to r1 we have it as 19 centimeters and r2 we have it as 9 centimeters that is equal to 19 plus 9 is 28 centimeters therefore the radius of required circle is equal to 28 centimeters coming to the second question the radii of two circles are 8 centimeters and 6 centimeters respectively find the radius of circle having area equal to sum of area of two circles now moving on to solution let us consider the two radii of circle given as r1 is equal to 8 centimeters and r2 is equal to 6 centimeters let a be the area of required circle with radius r then a will be equal to pi r square as it is a formula for area of the circle let a1 be the area of circle with radius r1 that is equal to pi r1 square and a2 be the area of circle with radius r2 that is equal to pi r2 square but according to problem it is given that area of required circle is equal to sum of areas of two circles that is a is equal to a1 plus a2 which implies pi r square is equal to pi r1 square plus pi r2 square that implies pi will be cancelled we get capital r square is equal to r1 square plus r2 square that is nothing but r is equal to square root of r1 square plus r2 square that is nothing but square root of 8 square plus 6 square which implies r is equal to square root of 8 square is 64 plus 6 square is 36 that is equal to square root of 100 which is nothing but 10 therefore the radius of required circle is 10 centimeters moving on to third question figure 12.3 depicts an archery target marker with the five scoring areas from center towards as gold red blue black and white the diameter of the region representing gold score is 21 centimeters and each of other bands is 10.5 centimeter diameter 10.5 centimeter wide find the area of five scoring regions now moving on to the solution here the 
diameter of the goal scoring zone is given as 21 centimeters let us convert this into radius then it will be half of the diameter that is 21 by 2 which is nothing but 10.5 centimeters let us initially find the area covered by gold zone that is equal to pi into r square which is nothing but pi value is 22 by 7 into r value is 10.5 into 10.5 here 7 goes in 10.5 1.5 times that is equal to 22 times 1.5 times 10.5 346.5 centimeter square therefore here we can say that area covered by gold zone is 346.5 centimeter square now in order to find the area of the region covered by the red we need to initially find the area of circle with the radius as radius of gold zone plus width of the each band we get the area of the red zone and gold zone and in order to get the area covered by the red zone we need to subtract it from gold zone therefore area covered by red zone is equal to area of circle width radius as radius plus the width of the band minus area of the gold zone that is equal to area of the circle width radius plus width radius is pi into r we have it as 10.5 plus width is also 10.5 whole square minus area of gold zone is 346.5 centimeter square that is equal to pi value is 22 by 7 into 10.5 plus 10.5 is nothing but 21 square minus 346.5 here 7 goes in 21 square 21 into 3 times that is equal to 22 times 21 times 3 is 1386 minus 346.5 is 1039.5 centimeter square now let us find the area of the region covered by the blue color that will be equal to area of circle with radius radius of the red gold zone plus 2 times the width minus area covered by gold zone plus red zone that is area covered by the circle of radius r plus w where w is the width that is equal to area of circle with radius r plus 2 times the width is pi into 10.5 plus 2 times 10.5 is 21 whole square minus pi into gold zone plus red zone has a radius of 10.5 plus 10.5 that is equal to pi times 10.5 plus 21 is 31.5 whole square minus pi into 21 whole square that is equal to here pi times 31.5 whole square minus pi times 21 square is equal to pi times 31.5 whole square is nothing but 3118.5 minus pi times 21 square is nothing but 1386 therefore 3118.5 minus 1386 is equal to 1732.5 centimeter square now let us find the area covered by black region that will be equal to area of circle 
formed by radius r plus 3 times the width minus area of circle with radius r plus 2 times w that is equal to area of circle with radius r plus 3w is pi into 10.5 plus 3 times 10.5 whole square minus pi into 10.5 plus 2 times 10.5 whole square that is equal to pi times 42 whole square minus pi times 31.5 whole square that is equal to let us take pi common that will be 22 by 7 into this is in the form of a square minus b square which is 42 plus 31.5 into 42 minus 31.5 is nothing but 10.5 here 7 goes in 10.5 1.5 times that is equal to 22 times 42 plus 31.5 is 73.5 times 1.5 that is 2425.5 centimeter square now let us find the area covered by white region that is equal to area of circle with radius r plus 4 times the width minus area of the circle till black that is of radius r plus 3 times the width that is equal to pi times r square here will be nothing but r is 10.5 plus 4 times width is nothing but 10.5 minus whole square minus pi into r is 10.5 plus 3 times width is 3 times 10.5 whole square that is equal to let us take pi common here then we get 10.5 plus 4 times 10.5 is 52.5 whole square minus 3 times 10.5 plus 10.5 is nothing but 42 whole square that is equal to pi times this is in the form of a square minus b square which will be nothing but a minus b into a plus b that is 10.5 times a plus b is 52.5 plus 42 is 94.5 that is equal to 22 by 7 into 10.5 into 94.5 here 7 goes in 10.5 1.5 times 22 times 1.5 times 94.5 is 3118.5 cm square therefore area covered by the white region is 3118.5 cm square coming to the fourth question the wheels of the car are of diameter 80 cm each how many complete revolutions does each wheel make in 30 minutes how many complete revolutions does each wheel make in 10 minutes when the car is traveling at the speed of 66 km per hour now moving on to the solution here the diameter of wheel of the car is given as 80 centimeters let it be as d let us convert this into radius then it will be radius r is equal to d by 2 which is nothing but 80 centimeters by 2 that is 40 centimeters and he has given the speed of car that is equal to 66 kmph now he asks us to find the complete revolutions made by the wheel in 10 minutes here if we consider a car wheel that will be circular in shape so the number of revolutions made by the wheel in the given time will be equal to 
डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाई दी कार इन दैट टाइम देर फोर द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाई दी कार इन टेन मिनट्स इज इक्वल टू वेलॉसिटी और स्पीड इन टू टाइम दैट इज इक्वल टू ये द स्पीड इज गिवन एज सिक्सटी सिक्स किलोमीटर पर हवा इन टू टाइम इज गिवन इन मिनट्स सो लेट इज कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू हवर्स बाई डिवाइडिंग इट बाई सिक्सटी दैट विल बी इक्वल टू हवर हावर विल बी कैंसल्ड टेन गोस इन सिक्सटी सिक्स टाइम्स एंड सिक्स गोस इन सिक्सटी सिक्स लेवन टाइम्स दैट इज इक्वल टू लेवन किलोमीटर्स लेट इज कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू मीटर्स देन इट विल बी लेवन इन टू थाउजेंड मीटर्स बट वी नो दैट वन मीटर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स दैट विल बी लेवन इन टू थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स दैट कैन बी रिटर्न एज लेवन इन टू टेन पावर फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स दे फॉर डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाई दी कार इन टेन मिनट्स इज लेवन इन टू टेन पावर फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड नंबर ऑफ रेवल्यूशंस मेड बाई दी कार दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ रेवल्यूशंस मेड बाई दी सर्कम्फ्रेंस ऑफ दी व्हील देर फॉर इनिशियली वी नीड टू फाइंड दी सर्कम्फ्रेंस ऑफ व्हील दैट विल बी इक्वल टू टू पाई आर विच इज नथिंग बट टू टाइम्स थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर टाइम्स आर वैल्यू इज फोर्टी दैट इज इक्वल टू टू फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर्स लेट एस अश्यूम दैट नंबर ऑफ रेवल्यूशंस मेड बाई दी व्हील इज इक्वल टू एन then the distance travelled will be equal to n times the circumference of the wheel which implies 11 times 10 power 5 cm is equal to n times 251.2 cm that implies n is equal to 11 into 10 power 5 by 251.2 That is equal to four thousand three hundred and seventy-eight point nine eight. That is approximately equal to four thousand three hundred and seventy-nine revolutions. Therefore, the number of revolutions made by the wheel is equal to four thousand three hundred and seventy-nine. Coming to the fifth question, take the correct answer in following and justify your choice. If the perimeter and the area of circle is Numerically equal, then find the radius of circle. Now moving on to the solution. Let us assume that R is the radius of the circle. Then the circumference C will be equal to two pi times radius, that is two pi r. And area of the circle B A that is equal to pi r square. But it is given that circumference is equal to area which implies 2 pi times r is equal to pi r square that implies r square by r is equal to 2 pi by pi which implies r is equal to 2 units therefore option a is right answer